Your brackets in valid RT will now rise into two. One going towards the next, so you have your right common carotene, and the other one going towards the right, you have your right subclavian RT. Correct. Okay. So base na ka same way yung na right subclavian. So here, this will now be your right subclavian RT. Ani siya right subclavian R D ni sa tapik pa. Once it passes beyond the lateral border of the first rib, this artery will now be named as your axillary artery. Okay. So at the level of the teres major, lower border teres major, this now becomes your brachial artery. And the level of the head of the radius is now bifurcated into two. On the medial side, we now have the ulnar artery. On the lateral side, we have the last uh, radial artery. Okay, branches. Okay, this one. Okay, this one you gonna have the superior thoracic or highest thoracic artery. Superior or high thoracic, highest thoracic artery. <coughs> then here towards the acromion, you have your thoracoacromial artery. Thoracoacromial artery. Then here, the lateral side, you have your lateral thoracic artery. Lateral thoracic. It's more so axillary. And here, sa among brachial artery, you have this one branch there. You have to call this your profunda brachii artery or profunda humeral artery. Or profunda artery. Mm -hmm. Then further down here, kanisha, still branch the brachial, so you have your superior ulnar collateral artery. Then, near to is, uh, further below, you have your inferior ulnar collateral artery. Okay, next, other branch here, the level is yung ulnar, ano, ulnar here. So, ulnar here. So, one branch here, this is more your common interosseous artery. So, ang taang sana is going posterior. Ang usad this one. So, we call this artery na as your anterior interosseous artery. So, you have your ulnar artery there. So, this is your superficial palmar branch of the ulnar artery. Then, this one would be superficial palmar branch of the radial artery. And, you have an arc there. So, you have your superficial arter arterial palmar arc. And, you have your palmar digital arteries. Okay, yeah, next, vein. Okay, with regards to the veins, you have two here, the superficial and the deep. So, usually the deep, uh, there are times it would exist in pairs, means mag uh, paris na sila. Like, in ano, kanisha, vein, nag paris. Kani, nag paris, and this one, nag paris. So, we call those veins na as your vena comitantes. Like, it exists in pairs, but and this would usually occur at the deep veins. The deep one is it's a superficial. But in a, in a, in a answer na natin, yeah, identify, we just have to name that as ulnar vein, radial vein, etc. We don't have to. Pwede na lang, hindi na magbeda kometantes kay taas naman. Ako, ito mo, okay lang, Japan car. So if we're going to trace now the deep vein, so here you have the digital veins. Then here you have the superficial venous palmar arc. Superficial venous palmar arc. Then from there, this one, kani siya nga vein, kani duha, kani duha, kani duha, kani duha, kani duha, kani duha. So this would now be your ulnar vein. Ulnar vein ni siya. Then this one would be anterior interosseous vein. Yeah, kani siya. They exist ya po na sto. Okay, so you have your radial vein. So after these two, we now fuse together. So manan sa siya, we call this vein na as your brachial vein. So brachial is siya vein. Then, we form into a single vein. So you now have your axillary vein. So same yan po, ilang mga level ha, mag-change sa name sa arteries. So beyond sa lateral border sa yung first rib going towards... <coughs> you now have this your subclavian vein. <coughs> then your subclavian vein, 
we now fuse together with your internal jugular vein. So we call just to form a single vein. So we now call this as your brachiocephalic vein. So your brachiocephalic vein will now fuse together to form your superior vena cava. So that's how it is the apex. So deep vein is a superficial vein. <coughs> would be this one superficial niya. so this on the medial side so this would now be your basilic vein this one the latter your encephalic vein then you have a vein that exists between the, the two so we call it your median cubital vein and then here same you have one so you have this your dorsal